Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an issue when attempting to add a printer to your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer that Windows cannot connect to the printer, followed by operation failed of error 0x0000520. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'm going to recommend doing is checking your network discoverability settings. So in order to check those, go ahead and open up the search menu. Type in settings, best match, or come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to select network and internet. And then you want to select your internet type, whether it's Wi-Fi or Ethernet. It'll say one or the other up here. So just go ahead and just select whatever that button may say. And make sure it's set to a public network. And then attempt to connect to your printer if you made an adjustment in there, and hopefully that would have resolved the problem. So now we can try here as well if you search the Find a Setting field and just search for Troubleshoot. You can go ahead and select Troubleshoot Other Problems. Go ahead and select that. You can search for Troubleshoot in the search menu as well if you already closed out of this window. And underneath Most Frequent, select the Printer Troubleshooter and the corresponding Run button. And then I recommend following along with the prompts here that gives you suggestions on how to go about resolving the problem. And I'll go ahead and actually start checking for different potential common issues. And then again, hopefully I would have been able to resolve the problem. And something else we can look into as well if we open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match to come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And into this command line window, type in msdt.exe space forward slash id space printer diagnostic. Exactly how you see it on my screen and hit enter. Select the Advanced button and make sure Apply Repairs automatically is checkmarked, and then select Next. And then see if it's able to identify and resolve the problem, and hopefully that would have been able to resolve the issue at that point. If you're still having a problem, you can try and open up the Search menu and type in Services. Best match to come back with Services. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to scroll down to the Print Spooler Service and double-click on it. Make sure Startup Type is set to Automatic, and if service status is running, go ahead and stop it, and then select Start. I would also suggest power cycling your printer and computer, so turn both devices off and then on again. So I'm going to go ahead and actually just restart my computer here. One final thing, if your printer is using Wi-Fi, make sure your printer is properly connected to your network. If you have to enter in your security key, make sure that that printer is accessible and visible on your network. So again, that would be a printer specific setting, go into like network or connect to Wi-Fi and then just enter in your network passcode and then just make sure your printer is accessible to your computer network. So. Pretty straightforward process, guys. I do about as well to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.